In this segment, we're going to do a high velocity, low amplitude technique to the thoracic spine in the patient seated position. This particular style of technique is best performed to dysfunction somewhere between T8 and T12. And in this technique, we can do it with a short levered focus or a long levered focus. I'm going to show you first the short lever, and then secondly, I'll show you the long lever. First thing we do is determine the level of the dysfunction. In this case, we're going to say it's about a T8 dysfunction, and we'll say it's T8 uh, extended, side bent right, rotated right. Therefore, we have a flexion, side bending left, rotation left barrier to meet. I'm going to ask the patient to place his right hand behind his neck and reach over with his left hand to his elbow. I do this on the rotational component side, so he's rotated right. Since he's rotated right, I stand behind the patient a little off to the left and place my right hand on the transverse process of the dysfunctional segment. Then I reach under his left arm and then on top of his right arm. And in this case now, I can just say, patient, relax, let your head forward. And I fold him into that flexion barrier. And using my hand palpating which way do I make that connection right to the level I need. So now I know I'm at the proper spinal level. Then I can rotate him to his left barrier to feel that just segment start to be carried. And I can side bend him a little bit uh, to the left here. So I can check his side bending. And now I take it to the left barrier. So what I'm meeting is a flexion, side bending left, rotation left barrier. In the short levered method, we're going to be using the hand here as our impulse. I ask the patient to take a deep breath. And as he exhales, I take my right hand and give him a quick impulse into the rotational barrier. Side bending and the flexion positioning will uh, just stay where they are. So I, I've met those barriers and the impulse on that third uh, axis will help move that through all three of the barriers, X, Y, Z. Now to do a long levered technique, I have the same position, but now this hand here is no longer the thrusting hand. The bottom hand now will actually move from the upper of the two down to the lower of the two to stabilize that so it doesn't participate in the correction. My hand stays on the upper, similar as the first technique, and now it's the top hand in its moving of the body that's going to affect the long levered correction. And this bottom hand holding the lower one steady. So you can go across, you can go down, however you can catch it so that it doesn't move. You're, the fact that you're rotating it to the left, it's best to have a lot of pressure more on the left side of the lower one to keep that from happening. So now again, I flex down just to kind of determine that the T8 or 9 or whatever segment I'm working on, this is probably a little lower in this case, this is more like T12. Flex, extend, so let's get into the flexion barrier there. A little more flexion, rotate left barrier, side bend left barrier. And now the patient is going to take a deep breath. And as he exhales, my top hand is going to be the thruster. And it's moving like so. Okay, So that's the difference between the short and long levered version of the seated technique in a type 2 dysfunction.